Hello everyone, welcome to another Week in Health with Dr. Bob DeMaria. Two very interesting articles. One was actually written about a year ago, but somebody just reposted it. It says, Suffer the Children, Why French Kids Don't Have ADHD. And we've been talking so much about cholesterol and heart challenges. This was recently in the USA Today. Many men with sudden cardiac arrest had early warnings. Let's talk about ADHD for a moment or two. You know, I, I wrote a book several years ago on ADHD. Actually, it was called Dr. Bob's Guide to Stop ADHD in 18 Days. So this individual um, recently just re-emphasized the fact that what we do in America is so different than what they're doing over in Europe. They studied French kids. And the French society is a little bit more disciplined than what we are like here in America. But I think that one of the most significant aspects of it, they really work on the social interaction with the parents and the children. And the article went on to say that French kids aren't allowed to eat snack food with reckless abandon. And the amount of children in France that are diagnosed with ADHD is minuscule compared to what's going on in the United States. I think what really caught my attention is the fact that in America that we give children who have ADHD drugs that literally are amphetamines that are supposedly speed their body up, but the physiologic response is just the opposite. So if the French can have children that don't have ADHD challenges like we do here in America, there has to be something going on in regard to diet and social interactions. I think that was quite a fascinating article. Suffer the children. Now, men with sudden cardiac arrest have and had early warning um, signs. You know, recently we've had some very famous celebrities that unfortunately passed on when they were in their 50s. And the article goes into great detail that almost 90% of the time, if you have the symptoms of ongoing cardiac challenges and you don't address them, the symptom is death. And shortness of breath is one of the more common body signals that an individual can have. Dizziness, faintness, palpitations. And I know just because we work with men in our practice that so many men when they start having body signals just kind of have and say the five dangerous words. Maybe it will go away. Trust me, it won't necessarily go away. It could result in death. You know, I was recently at a seminar and they were talking about some serum testing. And I'm going to throw this out to you. It's called ferritin. Ferritin happens to be a form of iron that we can test in our practice. So if you are having some chronic ongoing challenges, ferritin and CRP are two blood tests that I would strongly encourage you to request from your healthcare provider to have completed on yourself just to create a strategy for optimum wellness and long-term heart health. My name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, The Drugless Doctor.